So today, with a heavy heart, I bring you guys a tragic news. About a week ago, a fellow kayaker passed away while underwater. I didn't know him personally, but he was a friend of a friend. I think I met him underwater one time. So my friend told me that he went out on Pacifica. It was a solo trip. And uh, at some point, he fell out of the kayak. He flipped his kayak, I don't know. I guess the witness was saying he was trying to get back into the kayak, but he couldn't. And uh, his body was found by the surfers. And he was uh, transported to the hospital immediately, but they weren't able to save him. As far as I know, he is very experienced kayak angler, and uh, he is uh, someone who takes safety, kayak safety, very seriously. At this point, we don't know exactly what happened. But my speculation is uh, he had uh, some kind of medical event while on the water. So they're gonna do autopsy, but they said it's gonna be about three months until they do the autopsy. I don't know why it's taking so long, but that's what it is right now. So he's leaving his wife and two young daughters. And uh, the family's devastated. My friends are devastated. So I really appreciate if you can uh, donate some money for the family. I'll put the link in description, go for me link in description, and I'll put a QR code someplace on the screen. So kayak fishing can be dangerous, especially out in the ocean. But if you have all the safety equipment and if you take all the safety precautions, it's generally very safe. So one thing he did not have that day is he didn't have a buddy underwater. As I mentioned before, having a buddy underwater is very important for safety. So I myself do go out solo, time to time, on a good condition. Most of the time when I go out, I run into other kayakers that I know. So 10 years of kayak fishing out in the ocean, I probably was a solo kayaker maybe two or three times total. So having a buddy underwater is very important. So today, uh, my, my buddy Paul and I are fishing together. So to keep each other safe, to help each other when one is in distress. If you are regular to the channel, you guys know that I am very serious about the kayak safety. I have many kayak safety videos. I'll leave the link to those videos in the description. So please check it out. I explain how to kayak fish safely and I go over all the safety gears you should have on the kayak. And also I have a video on self-rescue as well. So please check those videos out if you haven't. The whole purpose of the kayak fishing is bring you joy and this is my therapy. This is how I relieve stress. But there's no point in that if you're risking your life. So when you're surf launching in general, you gotta make sure the surf is not too high. It's something you can handle. And the other thing you have to watch out for is wave energy. In general, if the surf is not too big, the energy is gonna be pretty low. However, three foot wave energy today can be totally different from three foot wave energy tomorrow. As far as the swell size and the wind, I got a video explaining in detail. Make sure you check that out. And once again, I'm asking you to make some donations to the family. Even if it's a small amount, a cost of a meal, $10, $15, every dollar counts. So if you have any question about kayak safety, do not hesitate to ask. I will do my best to answer your questions properly. And uh, as always, thank you for watching and please, please be safe out there.